Want to stream your DJ sets to multiple platforms simultaneously? If so, you're going to want to check this out. Restream is a service that takes your stream and sends it to other streaming services of your choice. It's a great way to find and grow your audience on different platforms. Plus, it's also a great way to give your stream the best chance of staying up in case of copyright takedowns. So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to get started using Restream. We're going to take a look at the different subscription tiers, and then I'll show you how to connect platforms so you can broadcast your DJ live stream to them. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Now, let's get straight to it. All right, so the first thing to do is to point your browser to restream.io. That's a web page for Restream. And before we sign up, let's take a look at the subscription tier. So I'm going to go and click on pricing. And you're going to see that there are three tiers here, free, standard, and professional. Free, as the name suggests, doesn't cost you anything. And this lets you stream to all of the big streaming sites like Facebook Live, YouTube, Twitch, and so on. Do note that this only lets you stream to your personal Facebook profile. So if you want to stream to like your Facebook page or a Facebook group, you can't do that in the free tier. This is also compatible with, you know, using Zoom. You can use OBS with this one, XSplit, Elgato, Ecamm Live. These are basically broadcast software. And what a broadcast software does is it takes your audio and video stream and then it puts it out to the streaming site of your choice. In this case, the streaming site is going to be Restream. And I'm going to show you how that works later on. So next up from free is standard. And over in here, you're able to access everything that free has with the addition of something known as a custom or an extra destination. A custom destination is a streaming platform that isn't available natively in Restream. And an example of this is Mixcloud's live streaming service. Now, Standard also lets you stream to Facebook pages and groups, which are different from your personal Facebook wall or profile. So again, if you want to stream to your DJ page or if you want to stream to a Facebook group, you're going to need at least Standard. Now, the top tier is the professional tier. And here you can have three custom or extra destinations. So if you want to add some more streaming platforms or if you want to stream to three Facebook pages, for instance, this is the tier to get. Plus, with free and standard, all of these come with like the restream watermark on the upper right of the screen. So whenever you're streaming, there is that logo there. But with the professional subscription, you're able to do away with that. And you can even add your custom backgrounds. You can add custom overlays so it looks a little bit more professional, as the name suggests. And it, you know, you can have your entire DJ branding on screen for everyone to see in your streams. So my suggestion right now is to just get started with free. If this is the first time you're doing something like this, you can click on get started for free. And then you can create your account. All right, so now that I've signed up, I'm going to be brought to the Restream dashboard. And this is where I can begin to add the channels where I want my stream to be broadcast to. So over here at the bottom, you can see that there are icons for Facebook, for Facebook Live, you got Twitch, you got YouTube, as well as LinkedIn. If you want to DJ on LinkedIn, you can. So let's try this right now. I'm going to choose Twitch just because I've already got a Twitch account. I do like streaming over Twitch more because they're not as draconian as Facebook when it comes to copyright takedowns, but I'll also show you how to connect Facebook over here later on. And I'm going to click connect Twitch and this is going to ask me to authorize Restream. Just like this one, you're going to get something similar. Or if you don't see something like this, you're going to get a login screen and then you're going to be able to authorize Restream. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Cool. And then now we're going to see over here in the dashboard that we have added a destination. Destinations basically is Restream parlance for a streaming platform. So right now we've got Twitch and it says that we're offline because, well, we aren't streaming anything just yet. Why don't we go ahead and add another channel? So I'm going to click on Add Channel. And we're in here, we're going to see all of the available platforms that work natively with Restream. So again, you've got Facebook Live on your personal profile, mind you. If you want to post on your Facebook page or a public Facebook group, you need to have at least the standard account, which isn't free. Yeah, so these are the other platforms. You got Periscope for Twitter, YouTube Events, YouTube Stream Now, and like a bunch of other platforms. 
Okay, so now that we've added Twitch, let's try adding one more destination here. Let's try, sure, let's go for Facebook Live. I'm gonna click on Connect Facebook. So do note that, again, this is my personal profile. All right, so now that we've got our destinations set up, all we need to do now is to start streaming. And now's a good time to open your broadcast software. As I mentioned, I use OBS. It's my broadcast app of choice. Over in here, I've got it. And what I need to do now is I need to copy the settings over in here, the RTMP URL, as well as the stream key. So let's go do that. So I'm going to go to settings here in OBS. I'll go to stream. And then I can just click on service over here and choose restream.io, which will automatically add the RTMP URL. And then I just need to copy the stream key over in here. And let's paste that. There we go. And now I can click start streaming. And as you can see over in here, Restream will automatically stream whatever is coming out of OBS over onto Twitch. So let's try that. I am going to go to my main scene over in here. So this is what's going to be shown over in our live stream. This is basically a live performance of mine where I scored Metropolis with some of my favorite new techno stuff. So that's how easy it is. It's pretty automatic once you've got stuff set up. Now, another thing you can do apart from adding destinations is to rename them. That way you don't have to change the stream title for every single one of these. And it's pretty easy to do. Just head on over to the update titles button over here. And then now you can enter a title for your stream. So let's just call it DJ Joey Santos. I mix something like that. And then we can have a description here. And then what you can do is you can click on the update all button because as you can see here at the bottom over in my destinations, they have different titles in there and that can be confusing. So if you hit update all, you're going to see that they will then have the same titles over in there, which makes it pretty convenient, especially if you're dealing with a lot of different destinations. So that means you don't have to edit the titles for each and every single one. Now, if you want to get a little bit more specific for each destination, then of course you can go ahead and change them. Just click on the edit button over here, and then you can choose the title that you want for this one. You can change the category if you like, that's for Twitch. And for Facebook, you can also change the description if you want to. And well, we're not playing a game here, so you can't really choose a game at all. So there you go. Pretty simple. Now, before we end, I just want to show you really quickly how you can add Mixcloud live over onto Restream. So it's really simple. First off, you're going to need both a Restream standard subscription or a Restream professional subscription, and you're also going to need a Mixcloud subscription. Now, once you've got both, what you need to do is to go to the Live tab over here in Mixcloud and then click on Broadcast Live. Now you get a chance to name your live stream. I'm just going to Call it DJ Joey Santos Live, this is fine. Click on confirm stream name. Now on this screen, I'm gonna be given my stream key over here at the bottom, as well as the server name. Now what we're gonna do here is we're not going to copy this over into OBS or XSplit or whatever broadcast software we're using. What we're gonna do is we are going to copy this information over onto Restream. So let's go back to the Restream dashboard. And over here, I've got a different account. This is the Digital DJ Tips account. So you can tell, and this is the professional account. So that means that I can add a custom destination. So what I'm going to do is going to click on add channel. I'm going to click on custom RTMP. Here we are. Now I'm going to copy the details. Here we go. And the stream key. There we are. I'm just going to click add channel. And now we've got our Mixcloud live over here at the bottom. 
And whenever I stream via OBS, which is the broadcast software that I use, I'm going to be able to stream to all of these services as long as I've got them toggled on. So it's as simple as that. All right, so that's it for this video. I've got a full article over on the Digital DJ Tips site. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Now get good, get out there, and make the moments.